What's going on everybody? I've never done anything like this before, but I'm gonna start this video off by saying if you have not seen the newest episode of Game of Thrones, Season 7, Episode 7. It's the finale, it's the most recent one as of as of August the 27th of 2017, which is when it was released. Um, do not watch this because it will spoil everything for you. I am a huge Game of Thrones fan. Um, I have been watching Game of Thrones since Season 1 was released originally on HBO. And I think they took it down because it wasn't doing too well and then brought it back. I watched it the first time it came around, so I'm an original. Game of Thrones lover. I actually uh, read all of the books, started reading all the books at least. I read them all, but I started back in like 2011 maybe, so. So I decided that today I'm gonna do a reaction video. I don't even know if you guys knew this, but Arbor's middle name on her papers is Daenerys. For day for sure, like Arbor Day. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna start and like go through some of the big things that I noticed and that I thought whenever I was originally watching it. Um, that beginning scene where Daenerys' army is lining up and you have the Dothraki and the Unsullied like coming together is like the first time you really see the entire army together at once, right? Other than when it's been on like ships and stuff like that. But yeah, you see like like how many there are in her army. Like you really know how massive it is. Girls, do we have like, you're not gonna have enough. There's all the Greyjoy ships that are there. The tiny little group of ships left. I feel like this episode was all about like reunions and stuff like that. It's like, bitch, she kicked your ass. After a couple minutes, this is literally me. I was like, where is she? Cersei is not gonna show up. She's gonna kill all these characters. 70% of the main characters sitting in one space right now. And then fucking thank God. Oh my god, and this guy creeps me the hell out. I cannot stand his eyes. He needs to come and see his optometrist. When Daenerys flew in, I was shitting myself. Um, only two of them, though. I was distraught. I mean, of course she's gonna have a grand entrance, you know? Like, what, what would you expect? And when the Hound brought that box out, earlier he kicked it and was like shaking. I was like, that was just playing up. They're gonna bring this thing out, it's gonna be dead. And then they're not gonna believe him. They're gonna be like, why did you bring us a dead body? It's like rotting corpse, who cares? And then this is this is gonna cause this big fueled fight. She's not gonna believe anything they said. But then Cersei saw and she totally flipped her shit. And she was like, all right, they're real, whatever. Like, it was weird because like at first with this scene, I was already on John's side. I was like, why would he lie about the fact that he's following Daenerys. Everyone's gonna know. Everybody's bragging on Jon. He just told the truth. Oh my gosh. And then when Tyrion went back in to talk to Cersei, I was pretty sure somebody was gonna die. It's just such a the big episode since the finale. I was like, one of the four main characters, Tyrion, Jon, Cersei, Daenerys, one of them, ha something big has to happen to one of them. I don't know, it just kind of felt like when the family gets together, you know, everybody bickers a little bit. And then Daenerys and John over there flirting it up. And they're talking about how like, maybe she could potentially have babies. Is he saying he wants to have her babies? Fine, I'll help. Which is surprising. But you knew, like, she's not serious. She's Cersei. Just don't say that whenever after the war is over that I didn't tell you that I would fight for you. Like, bitch, we know you're not gonna fight for us. We just need you to say that you're not going to so that we have a reason to kill you later. So then we get to the scene where Littlefinger is continuously stirring the pot with Arya and Sansa, and it's like, all right, something is gonna happen here because Littlefinger, Sansa, or Arya, one of those three is about to have something crazy happen because they've been working up to this for a while. For some reason, I just don't really care that much about Theon. I like his sister better, but Sansa calls Arya into the the keep and they're like oh no you really want to do this and I was like oh my gosh it's finally happening Sansa has gone crazy and she's turned on Arya I was like Sansa is gonna be the one to die from this is what I was thinking Arya is just gonna throw that dagger at her and like stab her in the face and as soon as she's reading it off like you've been charged with treason and um, murder <sighs> um, I was like wait did Arya commit treason I don't really think she did and then she's like Peter Baelish, and I was like, dead. Peter's the, it actually took me like a second to like register what was happening. Cause it like jumped to his face and he was kind of like, and the same face, that's not exactly what I was making too. Like, what are you talking about? And then when Arya like slit his throat or whatever, he's just like, I mean, the entire time, we were just like standing and screaming like, hell yeah, you can't split them apart. No, that felt so good. Yeah, and Cersei talking about hiring these 20,000 men to help fight for her. I mean, he said it before, paid men are not gonna fight nearly as well as Dothraki. And there's not that many, 20,000 is it? I mean, it's a lot, but it's not that many. I think she just needs to accept that she's not gonna win and take her baby, Jamie, and herself and get the hell out of here and go to some island somewhere because I'm sure Daenerys would be nice and give it to you. I would have never expected Cersei to let 
Jamie go. I feel like the reason that she has done all of this was so that she and Jamie could be together and have a family. First, I thought he was about to die. And I was like, no way, this would not happen. Like, this is not what Cersei would do, but I'm interested to see where they go with this one. Samwell and Bran have their little heart to heart and they tell you what you pretty much already knew if you were pretty closely paying attention. Jon is actually a true born Targaryen also half then start because of his mom and that he is related to Daenerys, has a higher claim on the throne than Daenerys. That makes Daenerys his aunt. It's funny because they're like overlaying scenes of telling Daenerys and Jon are related while Daenerys and Jon are like hooking up. I mean, you know, like something has to happen at the end of the season. Like somebody has to die, some either I mean, there's still the White Walkers, there's Daenerys' group now, and then there's Cersei. So one of those three th groups has to make some form of advancement. That dragon, and we were all debating on whether it was gonna be a ice dragon that shoots ice, or a blue dragon that shoots like blue fire. And then we were like, well, it can't get through the wall really if it's shooting ice at ice. I mean, I guess it kinda could, but it wouldn't be as strong as if it was fire. And the way that thing was darting around like a fly coming at you, or was Dylan would say a moth that attacks him, it, it, it just blew my mind because you're thinking like, these things are kind of supernatural, they're super strong, so this thing is gonna fly super fast and its breath is gonna be even stronger. This one dragon is probably as equally strong as Daenerys' two current dragons. I think what surprised me the most was just how big the wildling army is. I mean, we knew it was 100,000 of them and when you see it in that group and it just kind of looks like trees, you're like, is that trees? But no, it's people because it's just like a forest that it's so thick. I think that's kind of what surprised me. And then the fact that they have that dragon I mean, Daenerys' one dragon took out like a thousand carts, they said, which could probably be like, I mean, 10,000 people if the dragon was fighting them. So it's just like, it's insane to think about the numbers game here and like think about who has more, much less the fact that these are like stronger. So you know a lot of people, living people, are going to die to fight this undead army, no matter what, which is crazy to me. And then what's even weirder to think about is that when they die, if the White Walkers are still alive, if our living people die, they get risen up as ar army of the undead to then fight. So every casualty, in the living army is like adding another member to their massive army. It just blows my mind because it just seems like it's never ending. And I really expected some kind of resolution between the big three um, in this episode, but nope, we have to wait a whole nother year. I don't know why I felt like doing this reaction video. I love talking about Game of Thrones, so if it's something I'm excited about, I figured I would talk about it. Favorite character on the show is absolutely Daenerys right now still, and her two dragons. If you have any commentary that you want to add, put it down there. If you like me doing these kind of talk videos about where I talk about maybe a TV show that, um, maybe I talk about a TV show or something like that that I've been watching or that I'm passionate about, leave a thumbs up. I'm sorry if you don't watch Game of Thrones. This video is completely useless to you if you don't. So, um, new videos coming out soon. Be sure you subscribe if you don't already. I do all kinds of stuff on my channel. All my social media is linked down below. And remember, never stop learning.